All right, good morning to you. God bless you. We just got through taking our walk and doing our exercise. Hallelujah, we just got through. Anyway, as I was going to the park to take my walk and do my exercise, the Lord, the Holy Ghost brought something to my attention. <laughs> Glory to God. You know that Jesus said the spirit of truth, the comfort of the Holy Ghost shall lead you and guide you into all truth. Uh, the Bible says you have concerned and those that seduce you, you have no need of anyone to teach you concerning them that seduce you. For the anointing which you have been given is truth and no lie. There ain't no lie in the anointing. But the Holy Ghost brought it to my attention and I, therefore I'm giving it to you. Hallelujah. God said thou shalt have no other God before me. Now a lot of the references of the other gods were idol gods, idol, you know, statues and images made of trees and rocks and carved with men's hands, idol gods. Now, Jesus Came along and spoke about many are gonna say, "I'm Christ, I'm Christ, fall Christ, I'm Christ." Many go even say it, they cry. Now, now that's not now that's not idol. That, that's men. Hallelujah. <laughs> but idol gods and two legged walking God. The false prophet, the false prophet, the idol gods, false prophet, idol gods, one in the same. The false prophet is the one that tell you to serve other gods and tell you to have a graven image. And tell you to go and serve other God that you know not of. You do know your God is the devil. If you commit sin, you know your God is the devil, right? St. John 8, Jesus said, ye of your father the devil. For if God was your, was your father, uh-oh. <laughs> he didn't commit sin, he loved the devil. Let's listen, listen to the Holy Ghost talk here. If the Holy Ghost brought this to me as I was going to the park to do my exercise and take my walk. And we're giving it to you. This, this is not a referendum on pastors and bishops. Take it just like we said. Don't add nothing to it. You got false and real pastors and bishops. Some false, some real. Okay? But this, this ain't about that. Uh, this Leave it in the context in which we give it. Go to Corinthians 12. The idol God, the idol worship, the servant of the gods. False prophets the one that tell you to do that. In Corinthians 12. And 2. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away with these dumb idols. Now, now these are the graven images. They dumb. They can't talk. They can't move. You got to carry them. Read Jeremiah 10. Chapter 10. Even as you were led, you were led by these dumb idols. Wherefore I give you to understand. Let me give you to understand something. Let me give you to understand something. No man speaking by the Spirit of God calling Jesus a curse. You call Jesus a curse, you don't have the spirit. You don't have the spirit. You preach false doctrine, you don't have the spirit. 
You preach another gospel, you don't have the spirit. You preach nobody perfect, you don't have the spirit. Now, now if you have the spirit, you're going to stop that right now. You preach you got to pay tithes and offering to be saved or God required, you don't have the spirit. You preach you got to keep Sabbath there, you don't have the spirit. You preach came about live free from sin, you don't have the spirit. You preach anything contrary to the word of God, you do not have the spirit. You don't have the spirit. I give you the understanding. Where you need discernment, here discernment right here. I give you the understanding. That no man speak about the spirit of God called Jesus Christ. You ain't called Jesus Christ. You ain't saying nothing against Jesus. You saying everything Jesus said is right, including being perfect. For no man can say that Jesus is Lord. You say Jesus ain't Lord. You say the false prophet Lord. You say the idol is Lord. No man does. No man can say Jesus Christ is Lord, but by the whole go, Lord God may say Jesus both Lord and Christ. You, you deny. You deny the Father. You don't have the Spirit. I say you don't. The Scriptures say you don't have the Spirit. You deny the Father. You you deny the you you deny the Jesus Son of God. You do not have the Spirit. You don't have the Spirit. You play money games in church. Say so a seed for your miracle. You don't have the Spirit. Now there are the verses of gift. Call Jesus a curse. Say you say it to your line. Jesus ain't gonna see it no more. You say ain't nobody without see it. You don't have the Spirit. And I'm doing recording now because I can record longer, so I'm doing less live. All right, let's go to do the rest of it. The Holy Ghost brought this to him. You need to know it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Do the rest of it, that My God. Hallelujah. This is, what, this is what the Word of God said. If there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer or a dreamer to give thee a sign of the wonder and the sign of the wonder come to pass whereof he spake of thee unto thee saying let us go serve go after other gods which thou have not known and let us serve them see the false prophet tell you to serve idols tell you to battle the statues tell you to follow false prophets tell you to believe false doctrine the false prophets tell you to do that the false prophets tell you to do that. They tell you, get this blessed wall, get this blessed oil, get this prayer cloth, get this blessed ink, sow your seed and give a milk. The false prophets is the one that have you to serve other gods. All right, that's enough. You understand. God bless you. False prophet, other gods, same thing. God bless you. Thank you for very